Ever marvel at those movie stars with arms that look like they could lift a car? Their impressive biceps aren't just for show, they symbolize strength and power. What if you could unlock the secret to arm development like theirs right in your own gym? We're diving deep into the science of arm growth. We're not just here to sweat, we're here to make every rep count by harnessing scientifically proven strategies that target both biceps and triceps for maximum effect. Stay tuned because I'll be sharing a dynamic workout regimen that perfectly blends the power of compound movements with the targeted impact of isolation exercises. This routine is designed not just to increase your arm size, but to completely revolutionize how you look and feel about your upper body. Ready to transform those arms into towering pillars of strength? Before we dive into exercises that are guaranteed to blow up your biceps, it's important to have an understanding of its anatomy. The biceps brachii, commonly known as the biceps, is composed of a short head and a long head. The short head originates from the apex of the coracoid process of the scapula, while the long head originates from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. Each head reacts differently depending on your exercise choice, which we will cover shortly. Another muscle that people often forget about is the brachialis, which isn't technically part of your bicep. Aside from its main function being the major flexor of the elbow, this muscle has a large influence on bicep thickness, giving your arm that overall 3D effect. Now that you have a basic understanding of biceps anatomy, let's take a look at some of the exercises to max out your arm gains. Concentration Curls According to a 2014 study by the American Council of Exercise, this exercise triggered significantly more muscle activity in the biceps compared to several others like cable curls and chin-ups. What makes concentration curls so effective? They lock the muscle into its tightest contraction, focusing the effort on the short head of the bicep, the inner part of the muscle. This is achieved through a combination of flexing the arm and turning the wrist outward, as confirmed by EMG studies. Performing this curl seated with your arm pressed against your leg helps prevent any unnecessary movement, ensuring that your biceps do all the work. This method also minimizes the involvement of the anterior deltoid, which is often unintentionally engaged during other bicep exercises. Incline Dumbbell Curls Incline Dumbbell Curls are a dynamic exercise that targets the long head of your biceps more effectively than standard curls. By reclining on an incline bench, you naturally position your arms slightly behind your body. This unique angle places your biceps under an extended stretch at the bottom of each curl, expanding the range of motion and intensifying the workout for the long head of the bicep. This stretch is crucial because it allows the long head of the bicep, which runs over the shoulder joint, to generate more force. A 2009 study confirms that this exercise activates the bicep muscles through their full range of motion as effectively as other popular curls, like the dumbbell bicep curl. To perform this exercise correctly, start by sitting back on an incline bench set to 45 degrees. Allow your arms to hang straight down, holding a dumbbell in each hand. Without swinging, curl the weights while keeping your upper arms stationary and focus on squeezing your biceps at the top of the movement. Slowly lower the dumbbells back to the starting position and repeat. Remember, the key is to maintain the integrity of the movement to maximize bicep engagement and growth. Hammer Curls Hammer curls are a powerful exercise that shifts focus from the typical bicep curl target to include the brachialis, a muscle underneath the biceps that significantly enhances the overall size of your arms when developed. This exercise uses a neutral grip where your palms face each other, engaging not only the brachialis but also the brachioradialis, a forearm muscle that contributes to arm thickness and visual appeal. Even though the emphasis is on these muscles, the long head of the biceps is still actively working, promoting growth throughout the entire upper arm. Research such as a 2001 study shows that performing the lowering phase of the curl slowly, over about 5 seconds, maximally activates the brachialis. This technique ensures deeper muscle engagement and more effective growth. For those looking for an added challenge, performing hammer curls on a preacher bench can enhance this effect by increasing the muscle stretch at the start of the exercise. This approach to hammer curls not only diversifies your arm workout, but also stimulates muscle growth in areas often neglected by traditional curls. Easy Bar Curls Easy bar curls are a popular choice for those seeking to build bicep strength without the wrist strain commonly associated with straight bars. The unique ergonomic design of the easy bar allows for a more natural hand position, reducing pressure on the wrists and enabling you to lift heavier weights more comfortably. This makes the exercise both safer and more effective. 
A 2018 study highlighted that easy bar curls activate a broad range of muscle fibers more effectively than standard dumbbell curls, particularly during the lifting phase where the brachioradialis muscle is engaged and the lowering phase where the biceps brachii sees greater activation. Moreover, by adjusting your grip to a more pronated or reverse position, you can shift the focus to the brachialis and brachioradialis muscles, enhancing the development of the forearm and the lower part of the biceps. While the easy bar can allow for heavier lifts, it's important to be mindful of maintaining balance. This bar can sometimes lead to one side compensating for the other. To prevent this, focus on keeping your movements symmetrical and consider incorporating exercises that strengthen each arm independently. Now let's switch gears to the triceps, the antagonist of the biceps. It's that large thick muscle that when fully developed often appears in the shape of a horseshoe and whose main function is to extend the elbow joint. The triceps gets its name from its three muscle heads, namely the medial head, the lateral head and the long head. Comprising the largest portion of the triceps, the long head aims to extend the elbow as it is attached to the scapula and will also have an action on the glenohumeral joint. It also assists in adduction of the arm, while both the medial and lateral head only participate in elbow extension. While all three heads are activated during tricep movements, you can emphasize a specific head with the right exercises. Close Grip Bench Press Unlike the traditional bench press, which primarily targets the pectoral muscles, the close grip bench press shifts the focus substantially towards the triceps, specifically the lateral and medial heads. This variation is particularly effective because about two thirds of the triceps are made up of type two fast twitch fibers, which respond best to heavy lifting. A 2017 study demonstrated that peak power and velocity are significantly higher in the close grip bench press compared to the traditional bench press. This enhancement is largely due to the narrower hand placement, which intensifies triceps activation. Further research in 2021 confirmed that triceps medialis activity is more pronounced with narrow and medium grip widths. However, if you experience discomfort in your shoulders or wrists, which is common with tighter grips, it's advisable to slightly widen your grip. This adjustment can help alleviate stress on the joints while still maintaining effective triceps engagement. Dips. Dips are a powerful bodyweight exercise that effectively targets the triceps, proving that you don't always need additional weights to build muscle. Research highlights their efficiency. A 2000 EMG study found that bench dips significantly activate both the lateral and medial heads of the triceps, while dips on parallel bars are particularly good at activating the long head. A 2011 study further established that dips are as effective as tricep kickbacks in targeting tricep muscles. However, it's important to note that descending too deeply in dips can place undue stress on the shoulder girdles, tendons and joints, which may lead to injuries. To maximize muscle activation while safeguarding your joints, maintain a controlled motion, limiting how much you flex your elbows and aim to keep your elbows no deeper than a 90 degree angle. If standard body weight dips become too easy, you can intensify the exercise by adding weights, such as a weighted belt or holding a dumbbell between your feet. This increment in resistance not only challenges your muscles further, but also accelerates muscle growth and strength gains. Overhead Tricep Extension Recent research, including a 2023 study, shows that performing this exercise in an overhead position, as opposed to a neutral arm position, where arms hang down at your sides, results in significantly greater muscle hypertrophy. This is particularly true for the biarticular triceps brachii long head, even when lifting lighter loads. To execute this exercise effectively, it's important to focus on the movement of your forearms while keeping your upper arms stationary and close to your head. This technique ensures that the triceps are isolated and fully engaged throughout the exercise. By maintaining this form, you maximize the contraction of the triceps, enhancing both strength and muscle growth. For those new to this exercise, consider starting with lighter weights to master the form and gradually increase the weight as your comfort with the movement improves. Tricep pushdowns. Tricep pushdowns are a fundamental exercise for developing the triceps, particularly effective at sculpting the lateral head, which is key for achieving a well-defined arm. EMG studies have confirmed that using a straight bar or V-bar during pushdowns maximizes muscle activation. While you can adjust the grip angle to slightly vary how the muscle fibers are engaged, there's no significant difference in triceps activation between using an underhand grip and an overhand grip. However, an underhand grip may place more strain on your wrists. Therefore, it's generally recommended to use the traditional overhand grip to maintain optimal wrist alignment and ensure safety during your workout. 
Let's set the record straight. All these science-backed exercises will only get you so far. The real game changer is your dedication outside the gym as much as inside. You've got to push yourself hard in every workout, sure, but that's just part of the equation. Are you fueling your body correctly? Are you getting enough rest? Because trust me, optimizing your diet and ensuring you get plenty of sleep are just as crucial for your gains as any curl or press you do. Remember, a truly effective fitness regimen isn't just about what just happens in the gym. We'll dive into more tips to maximize your arm growth in a future video. But in the meantime, be sure to check out these two essential videos right here, packed with insights that can help you fine tune your routine and maximize your results. Until next time, stay strong, train smart, and I'll catch you in the next one.